Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and after many, many requests, I've made a video on how you can use mods in Super Mario Maker. This video will show you step by step what you need to do to apply mods to your game so you can try out all the mods I've made, as well as all the cool mods over at the Super Mario Maker modding website. This will take a few minutes to do, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is an SD card. You're going to put the SD card in your computer, and we're going to make sure it's formatted correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, scroll down to format, make sure it says FAT32, 64 is fine, and quick format. Hit start. Hit OK, and our card will be formatted correctly. Check the description below for a link to the first address we need to go to. And this will take us to the homebrew launcher, one of the things we need in order to apply the mods. Scroll down to release version 1.4, and we want the homebrew launcher version 1.4 zip. We'll click that. If you're on Chrome, you can go down to the bottom left. Otherwise, you need to navigate to your downloads folder, but if you are on Chrome, click here and click show and finder. Either way, get to your downloads folder, right click homebrew launcher, hit extract all, and now we want to choose our SD card as the destination. Go ahead and hit extract. Once it's done, we're at our SD card. We have Wii U. In that folder, there'll be apps and that will be Homebrew Launcher. Now we got to go back to our browser. Now we're going to want to paste in the second address in the description below. The one that says Wii U BUR. At the end, it says SD Caffeine. SD Caffeine is the other thing we're going to need in order to apply the mods. Once this page opens, we want to click on this big green button and download SD Caffeine. On Chrome, once again, we can go down to the bottom left and click Show in Folder, or you can just navigate to your Downloads folder, right-click on SD Caffeine, Extract All. Just like before, we're going to select our SD card, go down, click Select Folder, and hit Extract. Once it's done, if we open our Wii U folder now, and then open our Apps folder, we have Homebrew Launcher and SD Caffeine. Now we have to make another folder on our own. Right-click, go down to New, and hit Folder. We're going to name this folder something very specific. Make sure you match my format exactly. Capital S, capital D, capital C, then all lowercases A, F, I, I, N, E for SD Caffeine. It is spelled a little bit weird, so make sure you get it right. Open that folder. Now we have to make another folder. Check the description below. There's two different numbers I have. One's for the USA version of the game and one's for the European. So if you have a US Mario Maker, put in the US code. If you have a European one, put in the European one. Open that folder, right click, and we're gonna make one more new folder. This one we're gonna call content. In this folder is where we're gonna put our mod files. All right, now I'm gonna go to bluetelevisiongames.com. This will take you right to the BTG YouTube page. I recently uploaded a mod video. We're going to click on Dr. Mario Mod for Super Mario Maker. In the description of all my Super Mario Maker mod videos, I have a link to where you can try out the mod yourself. So we're going to go ahead and click on this download link right here. Also check the description below for a link to the modding website where you can get all kinds of mods. Once this page opens, we want to click the big green download button. Now we need to navigate to our downloads folder. This time we can extract this folder right in our downloads. So just leave everything as default, extract, open it up. We want to copy these three folders, model, pack, and sound. So I usually just drag across, right click, and hit copy. Now navigate back to your SD card. Open the SD Caffeine folder, open the number folder we made, open the content folder we made, and paste these three files here. Once the files are pasted, we have everything we need in order to play mods in Super Mario Maker. Future mods, all you'll have to do is replace the things in the content folder. You won't have to do all this extra crap every time. It'll make things go quicker and it won't be as tedious. Next step is to eject the SD card and put it in your Wii U. Once you start up your Wii U, open up the internet browser. Once it's open, put in this address, u.drg.li, and then hit OK. That'll bring you to the hacking web page. Once this is open, we want to click exploit or one of the five numbers below. This is where applying the mods gets very annoying and very tedious. Sometimes this will work on your first try. Sometimes it'll freeze up and not work at all. The key here is to be patient and keep trying different things. I find the giant exploit button to work best for me. Sometimes I'll use the number four and I've also had two work for me pretty well. If your Wii U does freeze, just hold the power button on your gamepad and your Wii U in for about four seconds. It'll shut them both down. Start back up the Wii U and try again. 
it does work, you'll get a white screen and then you'll get the homebrew screen. The only app we've installed is SD Caffeine. So once this screen finally loads for you, you want to click on SD Caffeine. Go down to the load button and click it. If you do get an error here, it might mean you have something wrong with your SD card. You might have missed a step or screwed something up. You can either try it again and see if it works, or go back and check all your steps and make sure you did it correctly. If it works, it'll take you back to your Wii U main menu. Once here, all we gotta do is click on Super Mario Maker and start up the game. Once Mario Maker starts up, you get through the little loading screen, go to the make mode, switch it to the style that's been modded, in this case, Super Mario Bros. 1, switch it to the theme that's been modded, in this case, the ground theme, and there we go. The Dr. Mario theme has been applied. All right, guys, getting this to work can be a little bit of a pain, but once you get it to work once, it's super easy. All you have to do is delete the things from your content folder and put in a new mod each time you wanna try something new out. Try not to be discouraged if this freezes a few times, that may happen. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you have a blast trying out these Super Mario Maker mods. It's a lot of fun. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.